So you want to play a Minecraft Java Edition with the controller. Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that in 2024. Now, our goal is for this to work through all of 2024. And in the description down below, there are two controller mods. One is Midnight Controls here. That's the one that we're primarily going to be doing and using in this video because it is constantly up to date. It's updated super fast to new Minecraft versions as soon as they are released. And it's updated regularly with bug fixes and things like that, much more so than the other controller mod which is controllable controllable is also linked in the description down below specifically to our guide on getting controllable but as you can see it's 1.20.1 we're making this video just after the first of the year the beginning of 2024 and it was last updated in june 2023 so hopefully it's updated more recently but it's linked below because this one is for forge controllable the midnight controls mod that we're going to be installing in this video is for fabric so if you want to use forge mods unfortunately you have to use the controllable mod but if you just want to play like vanilla Minecraft or, you know, a Minecraft server like Hypixel or something with a controller, that's where the Midnight Controls mod comes in. And this will work on the most recent versions of Minecraft. So first things first, go to the second link in the description down below, which takes you here. This is the Midnight Controls download page. Once you're on this page, you want to go over to the versions tab here and then find the version that you want. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do the most recent version, but this will work for older versions as well, as well as newer versions that come out this year. I don't expect this to change. If it does, there's a link in the description down below to correct things and make things, you know, more clear for newer versions, but I promise it probably won't change. It's not changed in years. Unless, once we're here, we want to go ahead and click the green download button next to this Midnight Controls version that we want, and it will begin downloading. While it is downloading, how to message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server at Simple Game Hosting, and should you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, we have now got Midnight Controls downloaded. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. We'll also need to download the Fabric API from the description down below, and this is a library mod, an API mod, that is required for Midnight Controls to work. Once you've clicked that download button here on our dedicated tutorial for the Fabric API, click on File and then find the version that you want for the specific version of Minecraft you're installing Midnight Controls for. So for us, that was 1.20.4, but for you, it could be earlier, right? It could be 1.20.2 or even 1.18.2, whatever version of Minecraft you're installing the uh, Midnight Controls mod 4. We want to go ahead and download the Fabric API for that version. In our case, 1.20.4, but again, could be a different one for you. After a few seconds, this download will begin. You may also need to keep or save that. There's one more thing we need to download, and that is the Fabric Mod Loader. The Fabric Mod Loader is basically the mod loader that talks to Minecraft and allows Midnight Controls to work with Minecraft. This is linked in the description down below with an in-depth and dedicated guide to getting the Fabric API. And once you're here, go ahead and click on the Download Fabric button to be taken to Fabric's official download download page. On this page, we actually want to click on this little universal jar link here. The reason being is if you install this using the universal jar, Minecraft mods in the future will work for you, whereas... Whereas using the Windows installation, they might not. So we want to make sure we're using the Universal Jar here. So go ahead and click on that and the download will begin. Again, you may need to keep or save it depending on your browser. We can go ahead and minimize our browser and we want to move all these files to our desktop. So they're going to be located most likely in your Downloads folder. As you can see, we have Midnight Controls, the Fabric API, and the Fabric Installer. Drag and drop these to our desktop just for ease of use. They will not be here by the time you're done with this video. So don't worry about them cluttering your desktop. Once they're here, you want to go ahead and open up and start off with the Fabric Installer. To do that, right click on on it, click on open with, click Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java, what you want to do is go to the description down below and download Java 17. This may be Java 18 in the future if Minecraft needs a newer version of Java, but at the time of recording, it is 17. If it's a newer version in the future, well then guess what? That's the version you need now, so just go ahead and get that version. But Java 17 is what we need now, and this goes over exactly how to get it. You may then need to run the jar fix after getting Java 17, and what this is going to do is link all the jar files on your computer to Java, make them work happily together. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser. And what we want to do is open up that Fabric Installer file. Again, Fabric Installer, not the Fabric API, the Fabric Installer. Right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. They'll then open up the Fabric Installer. Make sure the Minecraft version you want to install Fabric for and install the controller mod for is selected. 
make sure create profile is checked and click install. The only reason this wouldn't work is if you've never played the version of Minecraft that you're installing the controller mod for, you've got to open up Minecraft on that version to the main menu, close out of it, then you'll be able to install Fabric. You also want to make sure that the Minecraft launcher and Minecraft are both closed when installing Fabric. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and click OK to close out of this and close out of the Fabric installer. You can also delete the Fabric installer from your desktop. Let's go ahead and get the Midnight Controls mod installed. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher and then in the Minecraft launcher we want to go ahead and go to the installations tab at the top. You don't want to play Minecraft, you want to go to the installations tab at the top of Minecraft in the Minecraft launcher. Once you're here you should have this fabric installation. If you don't make sure modded is checked. If it's not once it is, you should have Fabric, but if you still don't have Fabric or don't have the correct version of Fabric, in our case 1.20.4, but for you it could be 1.18.2, go ahead and click New Installations here. We want to go ahead and name this SimpleGameHosting.com. I'm just naming it that because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then go ahead and click the Versions drop-down box here. Then you want to select Release Fabric Loader and then whatever version of Minecraft you're installing Fabric for. In our case, that's 1.20.4, but again, could be a different version for you. I'm also going to change resolution so we can see better once we get in game and click Create. Now, do not play Minecraft. That's not what we're looking to do here. We want to install the mod. How are we going to do that? Well, we want to hover over the fabric installation, either the one we created or the one that's there by default, and click on the folder icon. That's going to open up our Minecraft folder here, and all we've got to do is find the mods folder. Now, I have a mods folder here, but if you don't, just go ahead and make one. So, right click, create a new folder, and title it mods. M O D S, all lowercase, exactly like that, and open it. Then drag and drop Fabric API and Midnight Controls into your mods folder, right like so. Boom. Done. The mods installed. Now all we've got to do is go ahead and play Minecraft using the Fabric installation. Either one that's ever default or the one that you created. Click play. Click play again to confirm you are playing Minecraft with mods. And now Minecraft will open up. You can go ahead and plug your controller in. Uh, I just realized I have to get one from across the room. And then you are good to start playing. Let me go grab a controller just to show you everything's working and what to look for in game to customize. Midnight controls to your liking. All right, the Xbox controller has been acquired. This will work with Xbox Series S and X controllers, as well as Xbox One controllers and PS4 controllers, and pretty much any controller that you can connect to your PC, either via USB-C or Bluetooth. I will be using USB-C, but this will work if you can connect your controller via Bluetooth. Just uh, plug the controller in, right like so, and then we can see in-game that it pops up and says that the controller is well available as you can see controller zero connected x input gamepad and uh from there we can actually go ahead and control the main menu you can see the uh basically cursor if you will not cursor but uh the highlight of single player multiplayer options what i want to do is go to options here and on the right hand side of options we have this this is the midnight controller config where you can go in here and change all the different stuff i mean it's absolutely crazy what's actually cool though is in game it feels a lot like minecraft bedrock edition as far as everything goes you can even join servers just uh, select the server right like so by highlighting it if you will and then click on it and you're good. It's joining the server. This will work on high pixel things like that. As far as I know, it's not against their rules. But obviously, if you host a server on like simple game hosting, it works without issue. I will say my sensitivity is way too high uh, for my liking. But uh, we can switch basically the inventory with left bumper and right bumper. We can place blocks with left click. We can break them with right click. And uh, you can access your inventory with Y and all of that stuff. You've got tool tips in the bottom left to kind of get familiar with stuff. But I believe you can turn those off in those midnight control options that I was talking about right over here. If I can get over there, there we go. I believe you can turn those off in here as far as like, you know, the help tool tips and all that. So awesome stuff worth looking through and making sure things are exactly to your liking with all of this stuff. But overall, things are looking good. And well, you're now playing Minecraft with a controller. Like I said, that sensitivity is going to have to be changed for me because it is way too fast. You can even uh, push down the left stick to run, A to jump, all of that stuff. Double tap A to fly. So, nonetheless, there you have it. If you have any questions about using a controller in Minecraft Java Edition, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already, and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.